Hey team, what's up? It is me again, Dooner Dooner. And welcome to a sad, sad story about how I lost my head and got this prothesis by fighting an alligator. But before that, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and comment hashtag I have Arrow in the comment sections below without even actually watching the video or knowing what this is about. <laughs> Am I doing this right, YouTube? Can I be on the top page now? Can I, please? Okay, no, enough bullshit. <coughs> Ow. Ow, it hurts a little bit. I, I didn't... I didn't think that through uh, too much in the end. Now, guys, uh, seriously, this is another vlogging video, uh, a really, really easy one. A simple one. Um, I'm pretty sure if you're a content creator that you already know what is going on with YouTube. If you're not, you probably don't know. So let me explain you a little, really, really fast. Uh, basically, YouTube changed its algorithm to place uh, videos um, on top, uh, show them the videos in the <coughs> search uh, section a little bit. Uh, it used to be sorted by views and view time, which was the view actually cool because they're uh, paying for advertising. Anyway, it, it, I think it was a pretty solid way to, to look for it. Now it just changed. Now it's taking into consideration more the, the likes and the subscriptions and the, uh, and the comments in the, in the video. That's what we're going to, to see so many uh, of these kind of videos. The watch these kind of videos, begging for likes even before they do the video, even before you watch the, the content they create. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't think it's wrong to, to ask for a like, to subscribe or share the, the video, of course, uh, at the end, because you need to, to show what you want to, uh, people to like or to share or to subscribe to, but doing it since the very beginning, I think that's pretty, pretty fucked up, but we're gonna watch that a lot, uh, apparently, until YouTube change its uh, algorithm again. Also, we're gonna watch a lot of clickbait, just like... Uh, the title uh, of this video, or well, at least uh, the first part, if you don't know what a clickbait is, is to put in, like, let's say, a, a fake or not that honest title, like the first part of this one, just to get clicks uh, and views, because, um, unless I'm wrong, that is gonna count a lot at the time of sorting the videos, um, well, you search them, anyway. Uh, this is affecting a lot of, lot of people, uh, big channels, they're YouTube sorting their channels by doing these kind of things and well just imagine what's happening to us uh, small channels just like me uh, or some of my good friends uh, Jimmy Dean Rodeo and DJ Skelly Yolo not talking about Daniel Chavez from Mundo Chavez uh, right now because he, he's getting big he he just reached his 8,000 subscribers congratulations dude by the way and well it's kind of hurting the the channels Big channels, uh, big channels like PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye are really exper experiencing kind of a problems with the views, a drop in the views on a regular basis, and that's not the only thing that YouTube did. Also, they unsubscribe voluntarily some, um, I mean, you or many other people from some channels that you may or may not be watching. To and I'm not entirely wrong to, sorry, I'm not entirely. And look, I'm not saying that unsubscribing people from channels they don't visit is a wrong thing. Because, well, it's uh, basically subscribing to a channel is supporting them. But unsubscribing you from channels that you watch on a regular basis, that's, that's kind of messy. And maybe a, a glitch that maybe you'll resolve. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not even a glitch. Maybe it was on purpose. Anyway, you, you get the point, right? Now, second change that happened on YouTube was the... PewDiePie call it the double subscribe, uh, <coughs> double subscription, double subscribe. Yes, apparently YouTube will not send you notifications anymore from your from the channels that you're subscribed already, unless you hit the little bell in here. And also, it's not put in the recommendations the uh, the channels that you watch ma uh, the most, but some random channels or advertisings in the front page. Uh, they instead created this little menu here and well they um, 
they create a sus subscription sub -sub menu, which basically you can watch, um, not watch, but you can view all of the videos that your that the channel you're subscribed to are uploading by date, uh, from the latest one to the oldest one that they've been uh, promoting. Now, I don't think that is entirely wrong. I actually think it's a kind of good thing if YouTube were a little bit more clear and transparent on what on what they were doing. I mean, it would be really, really nice if YouTube uh, made put a, a big, 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 like really big, huge, enormous pop-up saying, hey, check out, there's a new menu here where you can see and view all of the videos that your that the channel you subscribe to uh, have uploaded recently from the latest one to the oldest one by date. I mean, if you already invested in doing the menu, you could have, have at least uh, tell us that. Not only, not only us as creators, but people who are in YouTube just for fun. And I mean, <laughs> I'm for fun, of course. Uh, like, uh, just watching videos and looking for what to watch. That would be cool, YouTube. Now, not everything is bad. But let's finish with the first point. <laughs> I just skipped it, sorry. Uh, now, there's another thing that YouTube uh, is doing, or that, I mean, not, not, not YouTube, uh, personally, but um, it has to do with the algorithm. You'll start watching a lot of videos doing the same shit that I did uh, in the video, being for likes and etc. like I told a moment ago. Also, you're gonna watch a lot of these kind of videos, giveaway videos. Now, I have nothing against those kind of videos, I think they're pretty cool, but what I'm fearing is that uh, these kind of videos, uh, just because of the interaction, the number of likes, uh, because people want to win a prize, for example an Amazon gift card, or whatever they're gonna give away, liking the video, setting thumbs up, commenting, uh, sharing, etc. Just to get, the, just to get this, this prize. I think these kind of videos are going to overwhelm videos of creators that are uh, actually putting a lot of effort on the content to entertain you. I don't think that's really cool, but I think it's gonna happen. Maybe I'm wrong, and I really hope I am, but I think that is gonna happen at least for some time. So be prepared, guys. <laughs> I subscribe to a channel and, and a little small, like this little, little pop-up appeared uh, near the subscription, bu sus subscription button, uh, the subscribe button, and it said, hey, if you wanted to stay tuned to the channel and receive notifications about whether they upload videos, uh, click on this little bell here. I think, YouTube, that that's something obligatory to do, not only when you subscribe to channels, but as a tutorial when you decide to launch this idea. It's not entirely bad, but you could have explained it to, to users how, how that worked. You should have explained to users that you were not going to receive notifications unless you click on, the, on that little bell. Putting that pop-up at the beginning on the uh, front page instead of the channel page at the moment you subscribe. It's a good thing actually that you just did, that you start to put up the, the little pop-up, the, 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 uh, the advice, advertising. But you could have started with that. There's also a trending tab. However, if you notice this kind of videos, just like H2H3 already said in the in this video, this video, they're not the most trending videos on YouTube. I mean, they're videos like uh, 24 hours with a hundred thousand views in that trending page. When we all know there are videos that, in that amount of time, or even less time get to the million views. Now, those are trending videos, YouTube, not the advertising. So you could just split them, like trending videos and trending, uh, I don't know, whatever, or promotion, because they're basically just advertisements about movies, about companies that actually paid to be in your webpage, or be promoted on your webpage. You could be a little bit more clear on, on people, what's going on with your with your webpage, with your... Another thing that I think was pretty cool is the, the option that we creators have now to pin the uh, some comments 
to be always on top of the comment section, no matter what. I think that is a pretty pretty cool idea. So if there's a valuable comment that was worth to to keep watching or read again while doing another video, really cool tips about uh, in my case a uh, gameplay, you know what happened, why I'm chatting or any uh, uh, anything that uh, I would say that would be valuable for the channel, for the creator, and for the people as well to know what happened or why something happened. That's the can come to my mind right now. Uh, will be always on top and you do not need to take a screenshot to to, to save the comment and um, and lose the comment forever assuming you have a big audience because I well I only have one, I only have one regular guy always commenting on my videos thanks Kosin thank you very much <laughs> okay that was silly that was stupid it's back on topic and well, there's one thing we we know. Well, we not not that we know. Uh, we have now creators. I noticed that as creators, we had a uh, while reviewing the comments comment section, had a little heart uh, a little bit. That's the friend zone sign, guys. <laughs> but you know, a little heart. So you could not only like the the comment, but also give a heart and show your love. I think it was called that way. Honestly, I don't know what is that. Uh, what is that for, or what it is at all? So um, I have an idea to test it out, guys. If you can leave a comment right now here below, I promise that I will click the heart on every comment. So in my next video, you can um, comment again what happened when I clicked the heart. What did YouTube tell you? You got a special notification, or whatever you got. See what I did there? <laughs> that was clever, isn't it? <laughs> Just joking, guys. Uh, first comment I see, I will give it a like if you can respond what happened when I. Not a like, sorry. Uh, I will click the, the heart button if you can tell me what that did. That would be awesome. That's pretty much all. I'm not gonna rant about it. I'm just gonna keep working hard. I'm not gonna leave it. I, I love being here. I've been here for a couple of months now, I think, I believe six months already. And it's been pretty cool. I loved it. I love uh, recording, editing, so I'm not just gonna stop. Love being with you uh, <laughs> in front of people. Try to entertain. If, uh, and if I can bring you a smile during my videos, that's a. Uh, well, that's a special work I get. Anyway, uh, this is gonna be all for today's vlog, guys. If you wanna watch the H2H3 video, which is a really, really ranty video about exactly all the changes that I did not explain in this video but anyway, it's gonna be all for today's vlog if you wanna listen to the opinion of some bigger youtubers just like uh, H2H3, PewDiePie or Jacksepticeye about this whole YouTube uh, thing that is going on right now I will leave the link to the videos in the description box below also, if you wanna know a little bit more about clickbaits and see some of the most common clickbaits on the internet I will leave a PewDiePie's video exposing exactly that in the description box as well. Anyway, I really, 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 <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? I really hope you enjoyed the video, somehow, and if you did, don't forget to click those likes. Remember to join the team today by clicking the subscribe button below, or the new button here in the new ending screen. Anyway, guys, take care, and I will see you again on the next video!